Hey guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Alan Wake. When we last left off, we escaped the insane asylum for the artists, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Home for the gifted insane people. And now we have to go through the garden. Or hedge maze, as I like to call it, because that's what it is. It's a hedge maze. So let's bump that door open with our head, or gate. See if we can survive. Let's go left. That is wrong. We are starting out wonderfully. These parts. Al, hurry up! I can hear those evil guys moving around. Shut your face. I'm working on it. Ooh, batteries. pages in a row, but, uh, let's see, uh, Ma Ma, on the ferry. spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. I guess pushing you off a cliff <laughs> works pretty good. I would have shot you in the face if it had been me. Yet, so that that's something. You get two pounds in the morning, and then you'll be nice and calm all day long. Okay. You get three girls in the evening, and then you sleep like a bear. Come <laughs> on! 
Leave me alone. Thanks for knocking that over. <laughs> Cowboy man. Oh, it's a cop. Shot in the face. Die cop. And they ain't cut no slack in this one. They're going all out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Page time. Back. Is it the last page? Nope, this was Lightning the last page. flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnir, wench. <laughs> that sounds the so dirty. All his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. <laughs> oh, Tor, you're so silly. Glad to see that. Flares are nice. Flare. Oh. I messed around with that. There we go. Well, I already wasted it. I already wasted my flare. Man, they're giving me lots of pages. I'm sweet. Nearing the end of the game here. Okay. So, Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Oh, so that's who Emil is. He convinced him to keep writing, which led to this whole messy mess. I wonder if there is something in the water. Emil made Tom do it. Okay, I already established that, but thank you. Thank you, game. And over there, batteries. Oh, good, more batteries. See when you in a while. Oh yeah. Flare gun is good. I get one or two bullets. I got two. Sweet. Only problem with it, which of course is normal for a flare gun, is that you can only no, I'm on the wrong side. Shoot one at a time. And then you have to reload. How big are these grounds? Ooh, that was a good flash of lightning. Oh, 
this looks non cool. This looks non cool at all. Let me grab you. Yes. Looks like I'm suiting up to fight some kind of major battle here. I wonder if I'll die. The answer to that is probably. Looks like there's someone standing back there, don't it? Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. Hmm. Shouldn't interrupt somebody when they're telling you about crap you don't care about. There's a guy there. Oh, I wonder if I'll have to kill him. Huh, well, that would be sad. They're pretty cool at the same time. Alright, let's check one. Ow! You're alive! Yes, open the door. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh. Well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... You're useless! Right. I'll find it! Don't worry about it! Oh, God. Hurry up, Barry! Oh, I'm, on I'm on it! I'm on it! something like that you know what you owe me big time for this oh, when think? this is through if we make it i don't care what anybody says i'm done with darkness you're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift and i'm gonna live in it Sounds awesome. hey your house is on fire it's smoking sure smoking is bad smoking is bad Maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. I didn't Al, know that. How can you know that? I yes, know, I... Barry. I can. Al, I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here, it makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The yeah. Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. You just need to find it. Look out! Dodge the rock. You're driving, dude. 
Oh, come on. That's so what's on heaven. Hurt and I'm gonna have to limp around everywhere. That's gonna suck. I had lost my gun in the crash. Oh, good. There was nowhere to be seen. Okay. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! Are you okay? <laughs> I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down though! It's like a sheer wall! Why would ah, you- Hell! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Oh, yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess he never messed with anyone from New oh, York cool City looking. before, huh? Dude, You're gonna have to find cool. your way around to the farm, Al! I'll be waiting! Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't He's worry a fishman! About it. I'm on the case! He's a Ellie fishman. Is Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Well, he's going to secure, spread out and secure the area. He's a fisherman. That can't Oh, yeah, this is going to be bad. Son of a biscuit. No. Dang it. Yes, I have barrels and whatnot flying at me. followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Ah. Ah, so he was spying on me at the beginning of the game. Big surprise there. I almost expected it. Let's get to the next checkpoint. Yeah, I'll learn you. Learn you. Now I can't see. Okay. Times too much light is bad. Oh, come on, that's just wrong. I just want that. Thank you. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, son of a... Oh, Jesus. Some light, didn't that hurt it any? All this confusion, just get to the farm. The shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Take it. 
take that though, because that sucked. Well, I got to the checkpoint magically. Stupid darkness. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Me too. Let's do another page. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Yeah, just like he was talking about in that video where, uh, that artist guy is going to get rid of him, and then all of a sudden he's like, oh, no, we'll keep him because uh, for some reason Alan White stirred his creative juices. Thank the Lord there's some magical gas in that. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to the light anyway. Ah! Ooh, light. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Oh. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Okay, that's getting old. I know this by now. If you don't know not to trust people in the dark, by this point in the game, you are either a special needs kid or really, really, really stupid. Okay, when we come back, we'll head towards the farm. If I can survive this wonderful romp through the woods the valley and through the woods to Odin and Tor's house I go. See you next time.